Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Robcast Prevenge of the Nerd podcast. Hello, I'm Rob Suchetto, uh, as if you didn't know. Uh, hi, my fellow shut ins. Uh, I am Rob Suchetto, I am the inventor of zombie portraits and uh, a zombie artist in general, plus a pop culture guru. So, uh, today, since I am a pop culture guru of uh, some uh, magnitude, I uh, uh, have loved uh, every moment of pop culture every, ever since I was a young lad and uh, uh, have been sort of immersed in it uh, ever since and, and really uh, you know, take an active part in, 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 uh, in being in pop culture too. So. Uh, uh, as a result, uh, I am asked many questions about my preferences uh, uh, in terms of like you know movies, comics, uh, things of that nature. And uh, today, I wanted to actually go over a couple of those things because I have got some uh, fan requests. And uh, one of the first requests, <clears throat> uh, excuse me, uh, from actually a. a, 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 a Good friend of mine uh, and owner of uh, Vintage Games in Junk in uh, lovely Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario. Uh, fantastic shop, by the way. Uh, had a chance to go in there last time I was down in uh, in the Sioux. Uh, Sioux Ste. Marie is a beautiful place too. Uh, but um, uh, so Michael Turcott uh, is the owner and operator of uh, Vintage Games and Junk uh, Q U E. Uh, and uh, it is quite a fantastic store uh, like don't let the name fool you uh, it's much more than what you know what the name is there's so much cool stuff in there uh, toys games like vintage cool stuff uh, comics uh, everything so um, yeah like if you if you get a chance to if you're ever in the Sioux or if you're in the Sioux and you don't know about this place check check it out uh, it's a fantastic shop. Uh, uh, I, I could I, like I could live there, man. It's it's one of those it's one of those places that I I love because I'm that kind of nerd guy and uh, uh, like I just love all that old like the vintage stuff, the comics and and uh, basically he's got everything in there. It's it's just a brilliant place. Anyway, enough of the uh, paid ad. <laughs> it's not a paid ad, by the way. It just I, I really dig it. So there, there it is. Um, uh, he, uh, uh, Michael Turcott asked me to list uh, top 10 horror or thriller movies. Uh, like that, that is a question that basically could take up many, many, many uh, uh, podcasts. Uh, I, 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 like I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you 10. Uh, I, I will probably do this again. I'll probably do another podcast and another and another and give you give you more. Uh, I I'll, I'll, I'll give you a couple. I'll give you I'll give you ten. But I mean, there's many many more than that. Uh, and I'm gonna start out with uh, a, a huge favorite of mine from way back when I was a kid. Uh, uh, th this this is just a brilliant movie and and for the longest time I would come home late at night from from going out you know and and partying it up and everything and I'd come home and and I you know I'd turn on the TV late at night and and this movie would like al almost always be playing and it is Angel Heart uh, and for years uh, I tried to figure out what uh, what this movie was, you know, uh, because I would always catch the end of it, or, or like the last half of it. Then, you know, anyway, I ended up buying it when when you could buy videos. As soon as you could buy videos, I bought this. Uh, yeah, Angel Heart, phenomenal movie. Uh, it it uh, features um, uh, uh, Robert De Niro's in it. Uh, it was a it was a controversial movie at the time too because. Um, uh, Lisa Bonet, who was on the Cosby Show, was featured in this movie in a very unflattering light. There was a very sexual part. She had a very sexual part in this movie, uh, and uh, I, I guess Cosby did, didn't like that. So fast forward to now, and anyway, uh, and Mickey Rourke. Anyway, Mickey Rourke, uh, when he was like a smoke show man, he was like one of the best looking actors ever, uh, and he was uh, he was the lead in this. This is such a, an amazing movie. I highly recommend it. Uh, 
more more thriller than horror, but definitely some horror um, elements in it for sure. Some supernatural elements. Okay, so there's that. Uh, Angel Heart. Uh, the remake of The Blob. Believe it or not, this movie is fantastic. Uh, over the top gore, some amazing special effects, uh, great story. Uh, I can't remember now if, if it, which Dylan, oh, Kevin Dylan is in this. Kevin Dylan plays the lead. Uh, it is a fantastic film, really good, really gory, really over the top. It's fun. It's a fun movie, but it's not necessarily like slapstick fun. It's just a really good popcorn horror movie. I might actually, I don't know, I might even watch this tonight. Uh, it's really good. Uh, you know, and of course, I'm going to talk about movies too that maybe some of you have already seen. Uh, I, I know like a lot of people should see this movie, maybe haven't. The Descent, uh, just an absolutely fantastic horror thriller film. In, like if you're claustrophobic at all, uh, I suggest you don't watch it because it'll bend your mind. Uh, it is such an amazing film. So, uh, so uh, just, uh, you know, filled with dread uh, and uh, has a very emotional uh, impact as well. So highly, highly recommend that as well. Uh, now, I believe the person who directed The Descent also directed this movie, Neil Marshall, uh, Dog Soldiers. Uh, I'm not, yeah, yeah, Neil Marshall and, uh, Neil Marshall, yeah, yeah, so two hits from Neil Marshall. I, I, I kind of knew that, but I just wanted to make sure, uh, I was, I was correct in saying it was Neil Marshall that directed both. Uh, Dog Soldier is probably one of the, uh, uh, most underrated werewolf movies of all time. It kind of they kind of like snuck under the radar and I think part of the reason is because of the like this was in video stores it did I, I like it didn't make it to wide release I don't think I don't remember it ever being a wide release film but uh, uh, I remember seeing it as at the video store going Jaws Aliens and Predator with a werewolf twist on the video case and I was like no no I, I'm not I'm not doing this and then a friend of mine suggested I watch it he said it was phenomenal. I watched it and I was like, holy shit, I can't believe I've been putting this movie off for so long. It is fantastic. Um, I'm not going to really say anything more than that. I, you know, uh, okay, in a nutshell, I'm going to say this. It is like Night of the Living Dead, but with werewolves. There. That's it. That's, uh, in a nutshell, that, and that's, I'm not going to say anything more than that. Watch it. It's a fantastic, fantastic movie. Uh, then, uh, one of my, oh my God, absolute, absolute favorites. Uh, this, this movie is just incredible. Uh, and you'll see on the thumbnail, I've got Frank the Bunny there. I just did the artwork, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, last night for this, uh, uh, for this video. Uh, Frank the Bunny who is in this uh, movie, Donnie Darko. Uh, it's a really early uh, Jake uh, and Maggie Gyllenhaal uh, uh, acting role. Uh, uh, Patrick Swayze's in this, uh, believe it or not. Uh, and, and I mean that with the most, like, the, the most, uh, I guess, seriousness. Like, he does not play a cheesy sort of, it's not like Roadhouse or anything like that. He's just in this. And the role he plays is fantastic. You have to watch this movie. It is just amazing. Uh, like, I don't want to get into too much of it again. Like, I don't want this to be a super... I'm not doing tons of movie reviews. I'm just trying to give you a top ten. Uh, the family dynamic alone uh, in this movie is worth the price of ambition. Like, uh, th this is like an anti-Hollywood type movie in the sense that it does everything that you, you see cliched in every other movie the opposite way so I really love this movie even just for that uh, not you know notwithstanding the other uh, amazing just horror and science fiction type aspects and it. it's just amazing uh, definitely watch that uh, next is uh, Ex Machina or Ex Machina as some people uh, like to call it uh, either way it is a fantastic movie uh, if, if, if this fell under your radar this is a fairly more recent one if this fell under your radar uh, definitely check it out it is 
so damn good uh, and uh, you know so re I think rewarding almost too when you watch it the effects are just astonishing and so believable um, it's a very, uh, I would say claustrophobic in the sense that it's like a, it takes place in a very isolated uh, uh, area with just like a few people, like not, it's not a huge cast or anything, it's like three or four people in this movie, like entirely, so uh, definitely watch this movie, it is a fantastic, fantastic film. Uh, this one uh, is not really anywhere near horror, uh, but I'm telling you, this movie, Excalibur, uh, because of the elements of sort of magic and science fiction, not, well, I guess you'd say like, you know, natural fiction or um, supernatural sort of, uh, you know, uh, happenings and things. Uh, and it tells, you know, the story of Arthur and the round, uh, Knights of the Round Table and everything. Uh, um, Merlin, the, magi uh, the magician, and all of that stuff in a very sexually aware way. You don't, you don't, you don't put those things together, like Knights of the Round Table in a sexual sort of way. Uh, but when you watch this, you'll know what I mean. Uh, it's a very intense, very well done film. Uh, uh, Roger, uh, sorry, uh, John Borman. I'm sorry, I was going to say Roger Borman. John Borman directed this. Uh, it is just a fantastic movie. Watch it. it, it, it I, I don't, again, I don't want to give too much of it away. Not a review. Just, this is in my top. This is another top movie I would suggest. Um, this movie's been getting a lot of uh, traction <laughs> for some reason lately. Ever since I saw this decades ago, I said, holy shit, what an incredibly underrated movie, and why is that? I never understood. Now all, the, all of these young movie review guys are talking about it, and saying how awesome it is, and blah, blah, blah. I always knew this. Uh, Exorcist 3, very overlooked uh, f uh, movie, uh, you know, skip the second one. The first one, obviously, I mean, I'm not even going to put it on this list because it's a no-brainer. That Exorcist is a, a, a just a phenomenal movie. Exorcist three, this movie is crazy good. Uh, you know, uh, as a horror movie, as as a um, uh, oh my god, and so on so many levels as a almost a fantasy thing too movie, uh, just um, amazing. Definitely give this one a watch. Uh, now getting into the crazy, crazy shit. Uh, this movie, oh my god, ha so many elements to it. So many amazing, amazing elements to this. Life Force. This is a very easily overlooked movie, very highly overlooked movie. Um, I can't even begin to tell you how wacky and crazy this movie is, but in a good way. So many horror elements. There's vampire, there's space stuff, vampire stuff, zombie stuff. There's a homoerotic scene with uh, <laughs> Captain John Luke Picard that you gotta see. It's just I, I want to, I can't, uh, I, I can't do it justice talking about it. But it's unbelievably uncomfortable. But uh, uh, they're, they're, like. The first half, the first quarter of this movie uh, is basically this psychic uh, vampire chick that like walks around naked for the first like you know I don't know 20, 30 minutes of this movie, uh, and there's uh, there's a lot to see. So just that alone, uh, as I always say, is worth the price of admission. Check this movie out. It is just nuts but fantastic such a great great film it'll keep you riveted right to the very end it's just amazing it's it's like so many movies in one but somehow it works so yeah definitely check this out it's 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 nuts uh speaking of nuts uh again uh and i mentioned this in my nicholas cage discussion mandy uh this movie is just incredible uh you know it's one of these things where it's like, okay, you know what? I, I really enjoyed it. I think you will too. I hope you do. Um, it is not for everyone. 
However, it is very linear in, in, in its approach. It's a revenge story. Okay, so I mean, you know, th that's like 78% of all movies are revenge stories, man. Uh, so, you know, it's that. Uh, there are s psychedelic parts to it, but not so much that you will, you know, it, it goes off the rails. So, definitely, definitely give this one a shot. It is relatively new, I think it came out last year. Uh, early that last year if I'm not mistaken I don't I can't read the copy there it's probably I got light blaring in my eyes here and I can't uh, I can't quite read it not that I'm not that I'm hard of seeing or anything like that but it's just uh, I don't know where it is <laughs> the date but I, anyway I, I'm, I'm sure it's I'm sure it's from 2019 I, I'm pretty sure anyway there it is there's there's my 10 there's a, 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 a 10 a uh, group of 10 <laughs> there are many 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 more but uh, let's start off with those and we'll go from there uh, and if you if you know you watch these movies you enjoy them uh, you want me to do another top 10 I will do that for you uh, another question uh, I'm gonna do a couple of these questions very quickly uh, I, you know uh, because I, I don't want this to be a super long video I, I don't know if you guys like super long videos but uh, Anyway, I'm going to try to keep this short. Uh, Freya Langford Sidebottom from Australia. Uh, 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 such a dear uh, friend and, and supporter of um, my my work. Uh, wow. I just... Uh, she's she's an, an incredibly talented as an artist as well. Incredibly talented. Um, she asks, uh, what things do you do in your local community... Uh, such as teaching, uh, courses, uh, uh, events, etc. Uh, okay, so <laughs> nothing now. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, what I what I do plan to do, however, I'm not, I, like you know what I won't talk about what I did uh, until I start doing it again. I, I I did a number of things. In fact, I, I'm. Uh, I'm, I'm teaching right now actually at the college but we're doing things uh, uh, over over uh, like online on, in video conference so uh, I'm still a mentor at Cambrian College here in Sudbury uh, but there's many many other things that I sort of do uh, what I plan to do now my next thing is to start doing online uh, art tutorials for everyone um, I'm trying to figure out a way to uh, either sell or give away uh, uh, coloring book pages to people so they could download and, and print off pages at home to color. In fact, I did that yesterday with a brand new Baby Yoda piece that is on my Patreon page, which I will put the link to in the description on the bottom. So anyone who would like to download that, and uh, right click on it, save it, print it, uh, please do and and color it and uh, uh, share your results online and, and tag me. I'd love to see your stuff. So I'm trying to do stuff to even like even these podcasts. I I'm, I'm trying to, you know, stay uh, uh, focused uh, on art and entertainment and trying to entertain you guys and and you know give give you some uh, some content to check out. Uh, and and hopefully it helps. Hopefully these movie reviews and these suggestions and uh, uh, things that I do help help you uh, uh, cope with the times that we're living in right now. Uh, even even when things go back to normal, and they will, and they will. Uh, I can't wait for you know. I'm I'm very anxious for that to happen. But you know, uh, I'm still going to be doing this. So uh, I I really want to uh, I really want to get uh, you know those coloring book pages out to people so they can do stuff at home. I'm not touching anything you don't get anything even in the mail like I've suffered really badly with even people ordering zombie portraits and stuff because nobody wants to get stuff in the mail either and the mail thing is all frickety frickety frack anyway so people are worried about things like that too so my idea last night was basically to go I'm gonna provide content for you that you can download at home Hopefully you have some paper and your printers and your printers work and all that stuff and you can print stuff and color things. The Baby Yoda thing is up and you can find it very easily. So, uh, yeah, th that. Um, uh, Pierre uh, H. Oulet says, asks, sorry, uh, uh, me to do a movie so bad they're good. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do that, but uh, 
can't, can't, I'm not going to do that now because, you know, that's a whole other podcast. Uh, Andrea Sacchetto says, uh, how does your pop culture addiction feed your art uh, or is it vice versa? Um, it's everything, really, I think. Uh, I watch stuff. It inspires me. Uh, I read things. I uh, read comics. It inspires me. Uh, wow, yeah, that's that's a that's a pretty. I, you know what? I, I I can elaborate on that more uh, in another podcast for sure. Uh, but yeah, that's a pretty big. That's a pretty uh, big question to to sort of. I have to ponder that one really because that's not something I can sort of. I I, I know I would know immediately all the ways it does that like I could I could rhyme off a few things but I I I, I think it, you know I think in depth it would take another podcast and I think I will do that I, I I could talk about it now but no it's I you know what I want to keep these podcasts relatively short so you guys aren't like sitting there going oh my god when is this guy gonna shut up <laughs> you can turn it off and watch it another time but please watch these things to the end and speaking of the end that is where we're at I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give me the thumbs up please subscribe to my channel it would really help I, you know it that inspires me uh, thumbs up inspires me if you guys like the video comment uh, give me suggestions for more videos I would love to do that I'd love to hear from you guys I love things for, uh, I love for things to be interactive so please you know don't hesitate to do that I'd like to hear from you guys man your opinions too uh, so I'm gonna leave you guys now like I said I'm gonna leave the patreon link uh, the link to my patreon page uh, in the in the uh, uh, description below and I will see you guys again very soon, okay? So uh, stay safe and healthy. Uh, I love you guys. Thanks for everything. Thanks for watching. I will talk to you very soon. Bye now.